back. Today we will be looking at much hyped technology which has taken the tech industry by storm known as ChatGPT. If you are not aware of it already, ChatGPT is a chatbot launched by OpenAI based off a language model fine-tuned by both supervised and reinforcement learning techniques. In simpler words, it's a chat box free for research which you can ask questions on any topic ranging from asking it to write codes, create articles, produce content, give advice, etc. So let's open up the website which is chat.openai.com slash chat. Once it's open, you can sign up to it and if all goes well, you should see this page which knows some of the most common examples, capabilities and limitations. Asking a question is very simple. You can just type in the question in the space bar at bottom of the page right here. Click on enter and chat GPT gives you an answer on your page. You can counter question it, ask it for explanation or ask it to give you an answer using different strategy. Chat GPT can do all of that. So for example, let's say I'm just going to click on one of the examples just to see it already added here. I'm going to press enter and it's going to generate an answer for me. Right, you see it has generated a very detailed answer and it also saves your previously asked questions like my screen shows four questions right now on the left side we are going to go through them and review the questions and answers so the first thing i asked is was to write a vba code to check duplicate values in selection so i'm going to click on my first question here and we see that uh, here's the question i asked it write a vba code to check duplicate values in selection and it gave me this answer with the specific code and how to use it both so we can see that it did write our code along with how to test it. So let's put it in our Excel VBA and test it. So I have my Excel file open, which we are going to test on. And as you can see that some of these rows have duplicate values in the order number column. So for example, let me zoom in a bit. You can see that the order number 10134 is duplicating. Then order number 10188 is duplicating. And we have few more duplicates down the line as well. So let's open up our VB editor by doing Alt F11 and paste in the macro code that uh, chat GPT created for us. It gave us a function and a subroutine to test it. So I pasted both. Keep in mind that it only gave us lines to test. So it did not add the starting and ending point that is sub and end sub. So right now this section is not being detected as a macro. So let's change it. So I'm going to say sub test dupes. So I can convert this into a macro so we can test it. So I have added the code that ChatGPT gave us right here. As you can see this is the function and this is the subroutine. It just gave us some specific lines. It did not give us a whole macro. So I'm going to select the values I need to test on. I'm going to run the macro here. I've selected in this and click on run. And you can see that the code gives us an output that selection contains duplicates, which is correct because we do have duplicates in this selection. Click on OK. So far so good. All right. So now let's ask chat GPT to write a VBA code to highlight duplicate in selection as orange color. So let me pull up here. My next question to chat GPT is write a VBA code to highlight duplicate values in selection with orange color. And this is what chat GPT came up with. We have our code. Let's test it out. It also gives us some additional reading information below, like it does not clear the existing formatting. So it says that uh, this function does not clear any existing cell formatting. And if you want that to be done, you will have to use cell or clear formats before this line right here, which is correct, but we will address that issue later on. So let me add this in a different module and the way it tests is highlight duplicates and then selection. Okay, so I do have the value selected. I'm going to click on run. It seems like there is an error with this macro as VBA is not detecting this macro. As you can see, this highlight duplicates is not showing up in the macro section. Let's tell it that VBA is not detecting this macro. There seems to be a possible error in line one of your answer, which says selection as range. So we tell it VBA is not detecting this as valid macro. It appears to be an error in possibly line one. Chat GPT acknowledges its mistake, gives me a new function and subroutine, but this macro still has the same error. So it says that this is how it should be. But interestingly, it has given me the same macro again. So if I compare this with the original one, it's the exact same one. So even if I copy paste here and replace it and try this again, we cannot still detect this macro in our macro area, which means we still have an issue. So we know that ChatGPT can only take us so far. So let's try to fix this on our own and see if we can modify our code a bit to make it work. As a starting point, I'm going to remove this from here because this is the starting point of this issue. This should not be here. I'm going to declare two new variables, dim my range as range, and then I'm going to set my range equals selection. So far, so good. And I'm going to replace for each cell in selection with my range because now the area for iteration is stored in my range instead of selection. Let's click on run. We already have the area and we see that it highlights all the rows where the count of order is one it means that it's highlighting the unique values only. For example, 
you can see here so 10134 order number is appearing twice 10188 is also appearing twice 10251 is also twice and we see that it has not been highlighted so it's kind of doing the opposite of what we wanted to do the logic is that the code goes through each value in selection so it goes through each value and then it adds it to the collection variable declared as values so you can see dim values as new collection so it's kind of storing all of the values in the values variable as a collection and whenever the error occurs and the error number equals to zero this kind of highlights that specific cell value so let's reverse this logic and change equal to zero to not equal to zero and rerun our macro after removing all of the colors from previous macro i've removed the colors from all the rows and let me click on run let me select the range again and click on run and voila we see that it has highlighted the second occurrence of each duplicate value so 10134 is occurring twice it has highlighted the second occurrence same for 10188 10251 and 10318 right so let's look at another question i asked it in which i wanted it to concatenate selected values in excel with a comma so let's save it let me remove colors from here right so i asked it to create a vba function to concatenate multiple values using comma so it created me a function and it gave me a subroutine as well to test it out the first result it gave me is good but it's hard coding the value so for example i would have to put in the specific values in my vba function in order to get this concatenated result which is technically correct but not what we wanted so i asked it again that instead of passing an array i wanted to pass multiple excel cell values again modified its code and it gave me a correct answer technically but still hard coding cell references for now let's test it out and see if the code works or not so i'm going to create a new module here insert module and copy paste these two in my code now let's run this and see what happened click on run and it's giving me a result with concatenated values from a1 b1 and c1 so a1 is order number b1 is quantity c1 is price each means that it's concatenating fine our logic is working fine here now i asked it again that i want to pass multiple excel values and it gave me a correct answer let's take a look so i asked it i would like to pass it an excel selection as range instead of cell references now i'm going to copy and paste this in a new module so we can test it out so let me select some values here i'm going to select these values as reference point click on run and we see that now we have a selection of values concatenated with a comma as we requested it right so it does give us a heads up that this function only work if a single contiguous range is selected if multiple non-contiguous ranges are selected the function will throw an error which is fine and let's test it out as well so what the code means is if we have this kind of range selected it will probably give an error so let's test it out okay so far it's working let's test this one okay this one is working as well so i'm not sure what would cause an error but so far so good if, if we're not receiving an error that's even better so let's modify this code a bit and ask chat gpt that instead of concatenating with a comma we wanted to ask us each time that what would you like this to be concatenated with i'm going to ask it again let's see what it does all right so it has returned the same function but for the subroutine it's saying use this function you can pass it a, a range and a separator string like this so it's still hard coding the separator string what i want is that the code must ask us that what separator we want to use as an input value All right, so now we see that it has modified our function and by the looks of it, it has done it correctly as it has created a new variable named as separator and put it in an input prompt box. So it will ask the user each time what separator you want to use, which is correct. So let's test it out. I'm going to create a new module, insert, paste it here, paste the subroutine as well and let's select some values and test it. Click on run and as it's requested, it has given us a prompt. So let's use a pipe sign click on ok and we see that now our values have been concatenated with a pipe sign instead of a comma if we re rerun this and give it a different delimiter or a separator it will use that separator to concatenate the values so for example i'm going space dash space let's see if it's able to pick that up and rightly so we see that it has now concatenated with a space dash space as we requested it all right so that's it for this video we will hopefully continue to explore more topics on chat gpt in future and how it can make our life easier i hope you like the video and and if you do, please like and subscribe and post any questions in the comment section below. Thank you.